What's up, what's up, what's up? How y'all doing? Oh, I'm sorry. Excuse me. I'm sitting a little white. But anyway, what's going on? What's going on? What's going on? How y'all doing this evening? Okay. So, as the title says, talking about when you have vibration upgrades. Um, today, I didn't really have to, but I wanted to make some more soup, so I had to get out the house. Um... I need a couple things. I ended up with more than a couple things. You know, anytime you go to Walmart, you end up with more than than what you, you know, intended on getting. But I got everything I needed and then some. So, but as, as I was, I got on the bus and there was a lady on the bus that was in a wheelchair too. And some of the people that get on there with them, they don't know how to park them, whatever. But, so I got on and turn turn uh turn backwards sitting backwards rode out to walmart um the ride out was cool it was quiet i just i just threw on some music put my ear ear earplugs in and was gone got out to there got everything got everything done that i need to get done and you know sometimes it's it's, it's good when you call yourself trying to stretch your time so i stretched my time um got everything got some fresh stuff and all of that good got back on the bus and the lady was on there before and she's on there again so we riding and this other lady gets on and she i guess she grew up around she she ran around or whatever with uh you know us folks so she's trying to sound just as uh urban as she could bless her little heart but as i'm listening to this lady talk for some reason, it was irritating me. It was just like, ugh. And I realized that what she was, she was talking, you know, just kind of negative. Wasn't nothing really positive in, in her conversation. And it just made me realize that when, when you've been trying to, when you've been working on yourself and you've been upgrading yourself a little at a time here, a little bit here, a little bit there, when you are when your spirit changes, when your thoughts change, when when you start elevating, and I'm not meaning it in a um, I'm better than you kind of way or anything like that. It's just that your consciousness, you, you become more aware of things that are, are right around you every day that you never paid any attention to. So I'm listening and I'm just like, Lord, what what is what why is this irritating me? Because it wasn't the conversation because there was nothing really being said. But it was just, I said, you know, when you get to a certain age and a certain level, you don't have to talk so loud. You don't have to be so, you know, attentive, drawing attention to yourself. And I just realized all at once, well, when your vibration changes, everything about you starts to change. And when you get around people who are whose vibration is not like yours sometimes it'll be irritating because then um the uh lady that was in the chair she now she's going to the west side of town but she gets off of she stays on the bus on the east side of town and she's going to ride her chair from one side of town to the other instead of getting on the proper bus and she's complaining and fussing about it and i'm sitting there going Sometimes, you know, and, and it made me realize sometimes we get ourselves in predicaments and situations and then we get mad because we're in those situations or those predicaments. Far too many times us making the wrong decision has put us in a place or a situation or a circumstance that if we had just paid attention and moved slower, not tried to move so fast, we would have made the right choice the first time. It's just like, you know, I, I've met, met, you know, met people and be like, man, they just really so cool, you know, because we keep forgetting that when we first meet people, we don't meet them. We meet their representative. We meet, you know, their best foot forward, usually. Now, there, there's, there are those people that just don't care and they are, they just show you whatever they feel like showing you that day. They just come however they feel like coming that one particular day. But most of the time you meet the representative you don't meet the real them until months on down the line you know or when there's an issue or a problem or something and all of a sudden you see this whole totally different person you be like where did this person come from well this is the real them yeah it happens a lot 
but um I just did it just just didn't make no sense you going you going to one side of town but you're getting off on this side of town it sounds suspect but here no there as uh you know was getting to a place and where she got off at you know I was like, you know, man, that's, you know, you sure you're going to be able to get out there? That's because it, it is not a good spot. Oh, I got it out of it. Okay. Fortunately, it was dry. Hadn't been raining. So when she rolled off, she rolled right on across and she was cool. Lady on the bus, oh, looked like she got there all by herself. All right. And I would have thought to myself, now, if it had been raining a day or so ago, if that ground had been softer, it might have been a whole different subject, a whole, a whole different conversation, but it is what it is. But I do realize when I go out now that I see things and I see people differently. And I'm not saying I'm better than them or anything like that, but it's just that I pay attention to stuff that I didn't pay attention to before. Um, I did a when I did this this little fast I call it a little fast um, and I'm just kind of like right now I've actually removed um, all meat hey love I've removed all meat from my diet altogether. all I'm eating is vegetables and fruit and drinking fruit juice or water that's it nothing else um, and every day my body is feeling better um, now I'm, I'm encouraging other people to do the same thing. Um, I won't. I don't recommend if you've never fat really did a real, you know, what they call a juice fast or a water fast. I don't recommend seven or eight days. Just do do a couple of days. Get your body used to it. Let your body start becoming conditioned, and then maybe after you know you've done that two or three times then you can go for you know seven days or longer because there, there are some people not trying to do no world's records but there's some people that went like three four hundred days on fasting and trust me when i tell you this doing a fast what's up bro doing a fast is not just a spiritual thing but just clearing out your system um just eliminate if you if you've been feeling bad in your body lately eliminate everything and try and do a couple like at least three days because most things can work themselves out of your body in three four days see if at the end of those four days you feel better and then what you can do is after those those three or four days um slowly incorporate certain things back into your diet that's that's this is these, these are just side things but um i learned that as i'm doing this fast as i'm doing these things my 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 spirit changes and and i'm seeing things differently um i got more patience with people i don't get i'm not so quick with them um i'm more understanding uh, and 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 i, I and I'm, I'm i'm i work with them a little bit better and that's some of the things that'll happen with you. I, I, I just, my hope and my wish is that you find and become realize that you are your architect. You are the designer of your stuff. God has the final say so, but God will allow you to give your input. Now, whether he listens or not, that, that's, that's up to, you know, discussion between you and him because God knows what we need. Um, but a lot of things that we need have already been, we, he's already put them, put them inside of us. It's just that we've allowed circumstances, situations, life in general to cover those things up. Um, how we feel about ourselves, how we feel about others, how we feel about our job. I mean, it's just all these number of things, you know, that deal with our feelings, our emotions and our thoughts that kind of cover up or blind us to a lot of the things, a lot of the tools that are right there at our feet, a lot of the things that God had already equipped us with. Um, I never would have thought, like for me, being a mouthpiece for God on social media, I didn't like teaching in church. I'm not going to lie. I would try and be the person sitting in the back of the room being quiet. 
not. He'd be like, you got anything to say? I'd be like, mm, I ain't got nothing to say. And every time God would give me something to say and it would just be like, Lord, why? He said, you, you, you my mouthpiece. You, you, don't need to, you need to learn how to speak and say what I need you to say. And it's, and it's become easier. I don't even get mad at people that reject me anymore. I, I, it used to really hurt my heart. But I realized that if they rejected God, if they rejected Jesus, who am I that I think I'm better than him? When I, I'm, I'm, I'm so lowly, you know, less than that. I call myself a misfit and people get upset. But I means I don't fit in. I'm, I'm, I'm real different. Real different. I listen to meditation music. Uh, I study. I, I, I look at all different types of, you know, healings and, and just anything that I could think of to make life better for myself. And I share it with anybody that God puts on my heart for me to share it with. I would have never thought I was an artist. I didn't think I was a, cre you know, creative type person. I failed in art class. But through my phone, I can take pictures and blend them and mix them together and make a whole new picture. And it's just, it's amazing what God has put inside of me. And he's done the same thing with all of us. But it's just that sometimes we let public opinion, other people's thoughts, other things that people, other people say, they try to lead us in a totally different direction than where our spirit is trying to get us to go. Take time sometimes and stop and listen to your spirit and be in the place that you really were destined and, and ordained and designed to be. And you'll find joy in things that you never thought you would find joy in. You find you may even find love in a place that you never expected to find love with somebody that you, you know, kept saying, Lord, that's not my type. That's not my type. I don't I don't see it. But then you take a moment and you interact with them and in that moment that you interact all of a sudden because you've done some personal work and personal searching and you're on a different level you start realizing that what I thought I wanted I don't want no more it's kind of like when I went I went to the store today and I saw all the stuff that's in the store and I can cook pretty much anything I want to cook. But now when I go in the store, I see ground beef and, and all kind of stuff. And I'll be like, yeah, I like a good hamburger. Sounds fire. Go back there and get some bread. And now I'm, I'm thinking, Miracle Whip, you know, hey, it's going to be fine. I don't want it no more. Your taste buds will change. Um... Things that used to taste good to you, things that used to sound good to you, they may still sound good to you, but that desire or that want for them will change. And then you'll you'll grow and as you expand your taste buds and you'll expand your horizons and see different things, you'll realize that there's so much more out there. Hey, Miss Teresa, there's so much more out there that you never even thought about, that you never even had any dreams of having anything to do with, and you start searching for them. Uh, one of my plans, you know, one of my prayerful, prayerful plans is by this time next year, I can be planning on going on a cruise or something somewhere and being, you know, taking a trip, um, possibly being in love, you know, you know. I really believe a lot of times the person that is for us is right in our face. We've met them, but because we weren't ready and they weren't ready, God didn't let us know that that's who that 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 one right there that that you just got through speaking to. That yeah, that's gonna be yours. That's gonna be the one that I designed for you because they have exactly what you need. Because a lot of times we think we know what we need in a mate or in a spouse. And we are so far off, so far off. But then sometimes we get it right. But the hiccups that come along with being with the right one sometimes make us second guess where we at or who we with. But see, I learned this from my watching my mother and father. 
if you don't go through anything in a marriage, then you don't know how strong your marriage is. I've seen both of them be sick, and I've seen the other be right there beside them, you know, just catering to them, looking out for them, protecting them, everything. You know, contrary to what people may have thought or, or said or feel or even seen, when life got real for them, when things got serious for them, what's up, cuz? They were right there for each other. They, they stood there in, through the thick and the thin. And I can remember Mama saying, you know, that for her, Mr. Vaughn did every, he 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 feel, fulfilled his obligations as a husband, you know, through through everything they went through, and they probably went through a lot more stuff than I'll ever know. But they loved each other, and they still love each other. That's how you know you got something serious when you can go through, go through struggles and heartache, and y'all still right there together. You know, sometimes we call people our friends. You know, this is my friend, that's my friend. But those friendships are not battle tested. You know, there are people that, you know, I know that have seen me go through stuff and I've seen them go through stuff. I didn't always know what to say. I didn't know always how to be there for them. So I learned that a lot of times all you got to do is just sit there and be beside them. You ain't got to always say anything. Just 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 give them a hug, give them a dap. Say something silly sometimes to make them laugh. But just let them know I'm here. I don't know. I have no clue on how to help you. But I'm here. I see you. That is more powerful than anything else you could ever imagine in your life. What's up, cuz? What's up? We, we, we get, sometimes we think that it's got to be a grandiose, a great big thing. More times than not, the small, simple things are what mean the most to those that are really connected to us, that God has really sent to be in our corner and in our circle. You know, I see all the time people talking about, you know, my circle is so small, my circle is so small. You may think that your circle is small, but if you're doing things the right way, your influence is great. Because there are a lot of people that will never, ever come up and say a word to you. But they watch everything you do. And they take notes. And they pay attention. And they try and incorporate the things that they see you do that are successful into their own lives. And they may never tell you, hey, you know what? I used to be this way. I used to think, you know, that all people were this, that, or the other. But, man, I saw you deal with some people that I didn't think you would ever talk to. And it made me realize that I need to stop judging people by what I think I know and find out about, you know, what's really going on with them. Because, man, I've missed out on a lot of opportunities to meet some great people. And and in all these things I'm saying, these are, are all leading back to your vibration, your, your upgrade. When you... When you start looking different and feeling different and thinking different, um, a lot of the things that we put in us, you know, we always say, you know, what you put in you is what comes out of you. So if it's a lot of negativity, even without you intending to be that way, you find yourself being more gloom and doom and and not as, as, as positive as you could be, you know. Yeah, okay, let's say on Monday, they let you go from your job. You know, a lot of people be like, well, man, you know, life is over, and they feel really bad. But then if you if you really change your, your, your perspective, yeah, I need to get out here and get on my grind and do some stuff because I need a job. But then you realize, man, this is an open opportunity for me to change, you know, change careers, do some things different be different it, it it follows in all of those categories we can look at this thing as in a disaster or we can look at it as an opportunity for an upgrade an opportunity to do what we were really truly you know designed and born to do because a lot of times we think that we're supposed to be in the same job that we in go to work go to church and go you know and that's it for life and a lot of times there's so much more that it was intended for us, but because of tradition, because of other people's influences, 
But sometimes we sell ourselves short. So as you take this journey on yourself and you, you know, do the simple things first, you know, clear out your system. See what's what you've been putting in you that's really good and what's not. And yeah, some of this stuff is going to be a little hard because it's still, I, I've, I started at the beginning of this year and I can go in the store and look at stuff and be, be thinking about it and be tempted and be like, man, that would taste good. I mean, like cheesecake. Oh, I love cheesecake. Ooh. But I realized that cheesecake is not good for what I'm trying to do. Um, I go in there and I look at steak and burgers and 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 bacon. Oh my goodness, bacon is just I don't care what nobody say, bacon is bacon is not the devil, it's not the devil, it's it's it's, it's fire. But I know I can't eat it. And I've I've gotten to a place where I've done without it so long. Now I'm scared to even think about like uh homecoming's coming up. And usually every year I go down and I I get me, you know, fish dinner from Second Christian Church. Um, but all I eat, all I use now is either, uh, olive oil or coconut oil. I don't use, I, I haven't ingested any vegetable oil in a long, long time. And so I'm like, um, I'm afraid I may not be able to, you know, enjoy and partake in what I normally, you know, you know, you normally do because, uh, I'm not trying to be sick. And if you've ever changed your diet and cut some stuff out and then you went back and ate some of what you cut out after you know four or five months or whatever of of not having it it will shock your body and not in a good way and you like to be on the toilet moaning and 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 doubled over because your body is like um what is this no we don't we don't accept this this and we're gonna hurt you we're gonna hurt you until it gets out of you come on so a lot of times once you cut it out if after so long there's no sense in going back it's like if you used to drink and you quit drinking your body will not accept it your body will will, will turn on you it'll, it'll hurt you but enjoy the upgrade and the change in your vibration enjoy seeing things differently than you used to see them dealing with people differently than you used to deal with them all of these things are pluses take your time if you decide to do a fast do it you know don't do it you know real big and grandiose just do it a couple of days at a time get your body used to it you know cut one thing out you know if you drink three sodas try and drink two you know um if you eat a lot of candy, try and cut it in half. You know, just, just you know, try and go a couple days without. Just, just condition your body because when you have moments and times where your body is feeling better because it doesn't, you, you'll realize that okay, without this, I feel I feel good. With this, I don't feel you know my joints hurt and I'm, I'm kind of sluggish. I'm just not feeling right. So pay attention to the differences and you'll see that it's worth the bit the benefits are worth it to cut some things out and to let some things go and then look at your the at when you have peace look at some of the people that you got around you and then kind of take a few days a, a sabbatical away from them for a minute and see if your life is not more peaceful the same way you cut out different things that you put in your body, sometimes you have to cut out your association with folks, not because they're bad or that they, you know, they, they're a problem, but they just don't fit into where you're going. So take your time. Enjoy the journey. You are destined to be successful on this journey. And I'm going to holler at y'all later. Love you. Peace. Thank you, everybody, for coming through. I'm going to try and do these a little bit more often. All right. Love y'all.